Introducing the 2015 Dodge Challenger. There is no mistaking the Challenger. This is the most true to form muscle car on the market today. And the new Challenger builds on its legacy with a modern interpretation of the 1971 icon. We retain the signature muscular proportions and silhouette that have made the Challenger so successful in the market today, but we've blended the Dodge Heritage style with the latest technology. Hey everyone, it's Emmy Hall here for TFL Car at the New York International Auto Show. I'm here with Jeff Strauss. He is the... Head of Dodge Brand Cars. Head of Dodge Brand Cars. You know, you I got have all this information in my head and I can only remember it for a split second. And behind me is my most favoriteest muscle car of all time, the 2015 Dodge Challenger. Now I know we've got a couple of new things that's happening with this Challenger. What have you guys done to my baby? Oh, where do I start? So obviously a very big day for us here uh, at the New York Auto Show as we just debuted the new 2015 Charger and this guy right here, the new 2015 Challenger. You know, before I get into that, one thing that's very important to note is that when we look back at when we launched this car, uh, just, you know, call it five years ago, the, su the success of the car has been phenomenal. It continues to grow each and every year. Now, generally, when it comes to cars, you're told as the car gets older, you're supposed to lose sales. Actually, this one does the complete opposite. But what we want to do to really, you know, hone in to our true, you know, Dodge performance enthusiasts is we knew that we want to take this to the next level. So when we look at uh, everything that we've done here for 2015, you know, first and foremost is we brought the classic 1971 design cues into this vehicle and uh, items such as a, a split grill, LED halo lighting, um, and all new engine options uh, that, that range from the 3.6 liter, uh, 305 horsepower vehicle, all the way up to our estimated 485 uh, horsepower, uh, yeah, crazy vehicle. <laughs> Now, uh, can I get a manual across all those um, engine options? The manual start on the RT. Okay. So uh, SXT um, starts with a, uh, a V6 eight-speed tran uh, transmission. Okay. And we also just brought in uh, the eight-speed transmission with our V8, but you can get the manuals on the V8. Okay. So the eight-speed transmission now, is that new across all of those engines or? Um... Yep. Absolutely. Okay, brand spanking new. Brand eight spanking speed new eight speed transmission. Really, really phenomenal. So, what can you tell me about this scat package? So, the scat pack car, so all of our Dodge performance enthusiasts were saying, hey, it's time for Dodge to really step up their game. So, what we did was, is we really challenged our engineers, uh, challenged our, our design team to say, hey, let's bring a true performance car in, in, or true performance engine into this vehicle, which is where we came up. Uh, with the scat pack car. So back in the day, there used to be uh, an actual scat pack vehicle. Mm -hmm. So you knew that when you drove past this vehicle, um, it was one of those you know true performance right. cars. So we came in uh, with a 6.4 liter, estimated 485 horsepower engine into this vehicle. So we're very, very happy. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Yeah. Now, when do you guys expect this car to go on sale? Uh, in the third quarter of this year. Okay. Yep. And do you have anything on pricing yet? No, we, no, we have not, not so established much. pricing yet. We're not oh, here to announce any pricing today, man, unfortunately. Man, you're killing me. Sorry. Next to me in the passenger seat, I've got Dan Zimmerman. He is the design manager for all of Dodge. We're gonna go through some of the new interior features of the Challenger. All right, what's new? Everything. Everything. An inspired interior uh, that was created uh, with the thought and trying to capture the original 1971 interior. Uh, as you can kind of see everything around you, we've, we've increased um, our, I'm sorry, we have, we have really tried to capture the feeling of the original car with more sculpture mm -hmm. um, and imbibe the car with more technology and premium materials. So the one thing that the original car um, really had was this, this feeling of isolation of the driver. So everything was biased and built for the driver. Yeah. So uh, in this car, you're gonna see these really large radial face gauges, mm -hmm. which are inspired from the TikTok tack and they're also inspired from the 1970 and 71 clusters that you, you see yeah, out there. Yeah, is this font the same font that's in the in that older car? It's, it's very looking, similar. Yeah, it looks great. It looks great. And it's great how you have those kind of vintage inspired gauges and then in between it you have the modern speedometer and all of your modern yes. gadgets that you've come to expect in a new car. Correct. 
And uh, you pointed out a really good feature because the seven inch TFT screen that you see there mm -hmm. is actually standard on all models for the Dodge Challenger in 2015. So you have a lot of different uh, screens. You can go through performance pages. You can really tune the car and tune the settings and really capture all of the different um, needs mm -hmm. that you may have. You can watch your, your fuel economy. You can, uh, you got turn by turn navigation. You have Bluetooth. You have so many features in this that really this, this customer base demands. So tell me a little bit about these seats because I know they're new and I feel like, I mean, I'm way far back for a driving position, but I do feel like I've got some supportive bolsters here on this, on my uh, legs and on Absolutely. my shoulders. Absolutely. But there's some new kind of cool things that we've got going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a driver's car. So it's meant to really hug the driver and keep them in place, especially when you're- Or pushed. her. Or her, thank you very much. <laughs> when you're pushing the car to its limits. So right. we've got these high bolstered seats, which keep you in your spot. And the trim styles are all new for 2015. As you can see here, the beautiful pearl with uh, sepia stitching. I do love this. Thank nice. you, they're, thank they're, you. This is our pretty one. Oh yeah, super pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and these seats also feature heat and vent in okay. 2015, which is a new feature for this car. Now, as a designer, did you have to fight the engineers to put heated and cooled in here? Because it does add a little bit of weight. It does, but um, really the feature is is um, the benefit of the customer, and I think everyone really agreed with that. Okay, so there was no like put up your dukes. No, all not for that. Rooms? This team is an unusual team. I'll say that right now because <laughs> everyone was so passionate about the car. I mean, there's a lot of Challenger owners that um, helped contribute to making this car uh -huh. and creating this car, and product planners, and I mean everybody in in their brother loved working on this car. So, what's your favorite? new feature in the You know, interior. I'd have to say it's the console. Um, I'm a Challenger enthusiast as well. I have a 1973 Challenger. So um, in designing the car, we really wanted to try to capture the, um, the feeling that that original car evoked. So you have this trapezoidal console here, right? So it, it really isolates uh, the driver from the passenger. So the, the passenger doesn't get anything. Yeah, I do feel right? like I'm, I'm very far away from you. Yes. With this little lip right here, this is definitely like, this is my driving space. Absolutely. And that's your riding space. Absolutely. The passenger gets nothing. They get a vent with a little nice little badge. <laughs> so um, what what I absolutely love about the console is the fact that, you know, we've we've got new premium materials in the car. I mean, both the, um, the driver bezel and the console bezel are made out of aluminum mm -hmm. and this is a soft wrap part so when we looked at the design of the original car we looked at the original console and the original console is plastic but we looked at it and said it looks like it wants to be wrapped mm -hmm. so we really tried to use premium materials and and create this beautiful wrapped piece here and inset with aluminum so all the controls are on the console we have nothing on the ip aside from headlights right. and a push to start so all your information is where you need it and all your switch gear is where you need it where your hand should go and you know, I will say the Uconnect system, I mean, I've driven a lot of cars and the new Uconnect system is probably the easiest one to use and, and the most intuitive. And it, it can look overwhelming at first, but then once you get into it, you're like, oh, this is completely intuitive. I know yes. exactly what I yes. need to do and exactly which buttons to push. Right. We try to make it very logical for the yeah. consumer going through and uh, making it very adjustable for them. So. Awesome. Well, Dan, thank you so much thank for you. your time. Thank you. As always, this is Emmy Hall. Let me give you some light here at the New York International Auto Show for TFL car. I'm in my baby, my honey, the only big car that would make me cheat on my small car, the 2015 Dodge Challenger. Thanks so much for watching y'all. We've got some more great videos here from the auto show. See you soon. Hey everyone, it's Emmy Hall here at TFL Car. We're at the New York International Auto Show. I'm here with uh, Bill Fay. He is the GM of the whole Toyota division. Oh my gosh! And we're talking about the new Camry. It's been completely redesigned. Bill, what's the skinny on this new car? It's looking pretty good.